from Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. It will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. The Dolphins now taking the field, led by the fifth overall pick back in April out of Alabama. Quarterback to a tongue of Iloa. And I'm not sure what the proper term is, whether things just actually worked out. The universe spoke serendipity, but you remember all through 2019, everyone was talking about Tua tongue of Iloa going to the Dolphins in the draft. And many thought that was lost when the Dolphins actually won a few games at the end of the season. But Tua still went to them at number five, and he has fit in perfectly. Exactly what they've been looking for at the quarterback position. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. A third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. From the gun, it's Tua. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Second and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Flush to his right. To a hit, and the ball is out. And the Bengals grab it. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Fumble on the play. Recovered by the defense. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And this is caught at the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain on the play. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. The quick slam caught. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. From six yards away. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback. So you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. Play action, now it's Tua. It, oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. LaShawn Sims with the INT. The first down pass. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense... And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. It'll be a gain of 15 on the play, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up... Up. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. Three yards the game there, second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Second and seven at the 28-yard line. Now to him. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. A three-yard gain on the play brings up third down. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. A gain of 18 on the play. First down, Dolphins. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll set him back five. Here's Gaskin. Four yards there on the carry, gets it back to second and 11. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On second down, Tua. Got a man open, that's Devontae Parker complete. A gain of four last play, they double that here and get eight. Second down pass play, got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. They'll run now with Gaskin. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. A gain of five. You're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally being a big bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch take the hit and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 23. It's a pickup of seven. and a first down. And the Dolphin first down. This is Gaskin on the carry. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Tackle made. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention. Because now you're in scramble drill. So and he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Preston Williams on the throw from Tua. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks. Even is a big... Now Burrow on first down on the slant complete to Green. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. First at the 38-yard line. First down, here's Burrow. Boyd's the target and he has it over the middle. And at the 40. Two-yard line here and brought down there. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second down at six now from the 42. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. 
And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Christian Wilkins. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Brings up third down and five. From the gun on third down is Burrow. Complete to his tight end sample. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Bengals. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Bengals 10, Dolphins 7. On the delay, it's Mixon. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Mixon with it. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Christian Wilkins. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. on the Bengals on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Six-yard line. Mixon with a first down carry. And he stopped immediately there. Joe Mixon, no gain on the play there. Second down. Right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Second and ten. At on second down, here's Burrow. This one hauled in by Sample. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. That's complete to the tight end sample. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Now Joe Mixon. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. It's a gain of eight. Brings up third and one. On third and one, Burrow. The quick slant caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. One yard line. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Now it's Burrow. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Drew Sample with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw... They fake the handoff. Now Tua. It's complete to Parker, left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. You need your wide receivers as blockers. Sometimes they get a hold. The big runs are often a result of what they do on the perimeter. In this case, got caught holding, and this one will come back. Here's Tua. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. 
to a touchdown. Well, that was an interesting little chess match there because the offense went empty set. No running backs in the backfield. So they're trying to get people out into a route pretty quickly. But guess what? The defense sees that. They go ahead and move, it, move themselves into a blitzing situation and come right after the quarterback. They had more guys there than they could block. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty fight had to come out. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Looking to pass to him. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". Going to the air, Tagovailoa escaping the pressure right. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Touchdown, Taking Miami. it in from four yards out. And the Dolphins have got it back to a one-score game. But defensively, it didn't seem like anybody had eyes on the quarterback, and he took advantage. So you think that maybe you were seeing some pretty good instincts for a young guy? Because that's the thing you worry about. Coming out of college, you're used to getting away with just about anything you want to do. You're just superior. Here, he has to read it, figure it out, and know when it's time to go. across the 30 to the 31. A gain of six there on first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll run with Mixon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And a good pick up there by Mixon, and that shows the talent that he has. Back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons, fourth in the NFL in 2018, ninth last year. But I look for those numbers to jump back up again with the introduction of new talent in Cincinnati. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Emmanuel Agba able to get in there and drop him behind the line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. On the right side, caught by Green. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? Green's got it over the middle. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Now Burrow. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Five yards, now it's third and five. 
brings up the last play on the completion got them half of what they needed now here's a tough third and five throwing again it's burrow and this is going to be incomplete well they certainly did it Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. Eluding the pressure right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. Alex Erickson deep for Cincinnati. Fielded at the 33. It's a 41-yard punt, but just a net of 31 following the run back. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 43. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. So they lost yardage, and they declined the penalty. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing. <laughs> I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it that good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Mixon will get it to start the second half. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A loss of two. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Once again, they run with Mixon. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 35. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. We know it really fires up offensive linemen. When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. It's a jet sweep. They get it to Green. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Brings up third and three. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so. Two and now on first down. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 
An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Tackle made there by Josh Bynes. The Dolphin ball carrier. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, kind of just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And that'll bring up fourth down as his Cincy defense stands up on third. Isaiah Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 25. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. They'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Ball carrier. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. At the 29 yard Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. And Tate's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Burrow able to find Sample. That's complete. That catch good for only a couple. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that. But it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost his bread and butter is a good running back dive play. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third and two. Third and two, now Burrow. And able to find Green. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 26. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. That little arc on it, he's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Over the middle, complete. That's Green. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. They'll run on first down. Mixon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Devon Godshow up to make the tackle. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Flushed out right. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. First and goal at the two-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's Tyler Boyd. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. And remember, Parker, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. That three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, he keeps... the gun he'll hand this off and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard gain there 
They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. And he gets all the way down to the 30-yard line. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. But the truth is, they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. Yeah, all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Touchdown. Matt Breida, 30 yards. And the Dolphins are able to draw a bit closer. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree. First down, here's Burrow. And agree with a catch left side. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brings up second and one. Nice catch there by A.J. Green. And at the beginning of his career, a pretty a Pro Bowl receiver. Been dinged up a little bit the last two years, but now he gets a fresh start. Without his friend and quarterback, Andy Dalton, his leadership will be key. On second down, Burrow. Out to the left, he's got Sample there. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 15 yards on the play, first down. Cincinnati when you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Got his man complete over the middle. That's green. Yeah, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A well-executed 22-yard gain. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To the air again, Burrow. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Boyd. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. And the Bengals on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This will be third and six. Complete to his tight end sample. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 12-yard line. It's a gain of 13, and the Bengals have a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. On first down, Mixon. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They're looking at a second and eight now from the 10. Second and eight. Again, it's Mixon. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. It's a gain of six, makes it third and two. Burrow on third down. And that is caught. He's got it for a Bengal touchdown. Drew Sample there to make the grab. And the Bengals add on to their lead. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is he? On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Now they go screen, it's complete. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Complete two ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Brings up second and five. From the gun, it's Tua. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The Dolphins on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. 
But he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. Steps away to his left. He's going to let one. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 26. That one covers 29 yards. First down. And the young buck showing that ability, that agility to dance outside of the pocket, complete the deep ball. And don't think for a second that the coaching staff didn't have their heart rate accelerate a little bit there, right? Anytime you have those young quarterbacks and they get outside of the pocket, you're just hoping that they make good decisions because so many things can happen that can go wrong when you throw it downfield like that. He got away with it there and in a big way. Being chased out left. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Mackenzie Alexander with a pick. 30, 20, and he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Touchdown. Tug of Iloa trying again after the pick six. Going right side here, and that's complete. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes us second and nine. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Flush to his right. Trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Looking to pass. Tua. They'll set up a screen for Breida. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty is a result of that hit there. So now a fresh set of downs. First and 10 after roughing the passer. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Two and a throw again. Over the middle, complete. It's Ford. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Holding offense. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Now this one over the middle, into the hands of his tight end, complete. I see Mike Gusecki make a catch. I'm reminded of his athletic ability. And go back to the time we were leading up to the draft and showing his career highlights, including high school volleyball where it appeared he was almost jumping over the net. I expect him to continue to grow in 2020, start to make progress in 2019. Five touchdown catches and 570 total yards. On third and long, it's Tug of Iloa. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on 
fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Brings up third down and seven. On third down, Burrow. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. After the penalty, it's Mixon. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and it'll bring up a second and 13. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. From the gun on third down is Burrow. And he can't quite pick it. No Probably should have been. It's Tongue of Iloa from his own end zone. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he is out up around the 15-yard line. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. The line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just let him lead the game out that way. Yards to go. And that will be incomplete. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. Tua on fourth down. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. To Preston Williams. Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Second and 10. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, a first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. It's second down and back to the air on second down. Tongue of Iloa. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 21 yards. And they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. And it's incomplete. Still time left, though. Two seconds remaining now in the fourth quarter. Second and ten. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Dancing to his left. He'll try and run it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 
Today is a big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. The defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.